So if you've ever wondered if there's a substance more powerful than caffeine, it turns out it's Fabric Connect and SPB. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, have you seen this many presenters this excited about networking topics in at least your recent memory? Right? So, and you hit it right on the head earlier, right? With this simplicity, you take away a lot of the complexity that could be there with overlays and things like that. Right? And so as we get into, well, I was going to flip a slide, but that's okay. I forget Sunil's demos up there. And Sunil, when you're in there, you can introduce yourself. Sure. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go through a demo that we've been doing for a while. We introduced this a, a while back at um, one of the VMworld events. We've been demoing it since. We've done it for several customers, different things. But this is what we're working on from a perspective of our controller. Um, and actually using SPB. So I mentioned earlier OpenStack. We've got the Horizon dashboard in there, right? And what we've done is what anyone else can do. We've taken Neutron and we've scripted to it the ability to go in and now provision ICIDs instead of just VLANs or things like that. So Snail's going to run through. He's going to show you quickly provisioning a new tenant with service. By the way, I know I told you we were going to talk about networking all day, but it is Avaya. So it's going to be a, an Avaya or a service. It's going to be about voice. So you'll see there are several applications associated with that. And he's going to put them up there. They're going to populate very quickly. We'll go through, you know, we'll show you, before we jump in, we'll, ju we'll go into one of the switches in there, show you that the services don't exist. Go in, provision all the services through the controller. And then when he's done, we'll go back in. You'll see the, the services are there, right? It's pretty simple, but at the end of the day, as you can see with all these things, it's not like any of it's difficult, right? That's the beauty of it. So, Real quick, if I can ask a question. Yes, if please. If it's not a short answer, don't answer it because I don't want to interrupt this stuff. I saw a lot of ISIS stuff, and it looks like kind of an overlay set of features on top of it. Mm -hmm. Is the hardware special, or is it just command set on top of ISIS? It's just commands on ISIS. It, we just added a few TLVs to ISIS. Exactly. Was it four TLVs, right? Four TLVs oh. made all this work. Yeah. So the beauty of a, of a powerful protocol that's been around as long as most of us are longer, right? right. So Sunil? <coughs> yeah, hi, my, my name is Sunil Manon, and I'm going to show you how to orchestrate clouds on the fly using OpenStack together with our Avaya SDN controller. So it's going to be just simple four steps. Create the network, create the tenant, create the user, create the network, and then bring up the services. Everything needs to come up you know, within five minutes. So that's the goal here. So the scenario here is like this. You are a cloud administrator, and you're going to log in into the OpenStack Horizon UI. And here, I already have a user configured called Cloud Admin, and I'm going to log in. Sunil, so while that's logging, could you flip over to the Telnet session real quick and just show the services? Yeah, sure. So as you can see that we have already some tenants already been provisioned. Uh, there is an VLANs being created and assigned. And this is a typical SPB switch, which, which will take in a VLAN coming in and it actually provisioned that into an ICID. So you, you already have like certain tenants already been created. You can see this VLAN 870 all have been already been assigned. So now I'm going to show you what we see on the uh, search side. And we we already have some VLANs being assigned to the to the ICs here. So th that's the you know the time T0 scenario where no user has been created. We already have some you know tenants pre-running on the network. 
Now I'm going to go into this open stack and I'm going to create multiple tenants. So here each tenant is kind of a cloud by itself. So it's going to have four things. One is the customer ID or whatever the name is. Second is the user. Third is the network and four is the, uh, the, aura, the aura services. So now getting back to this OpenStack demo, as you can see that I already have all this, you know, three tenants running called Charles, Randy, and Robert. Now I'm going to go and create a new tenant here. And I, I hate this mouse, but... Okay, so I'm going to give it a name here. I'm going to say Sunil, just for the sake of simplicity. And I'm going to assign this, uh, this cloud admin uh, and give this person an administrative access to this particular tenant. Sorry. And here, here I'm going to create this particular tenant. And as you can see that now a tenant space has been created in OpenStack called Sunil. Now the next step here is that I'm going to go into this particular tenant called Sunil. And as you can see that, you know, this tenant doesn't have any resource assigned. Everything is blank, zero instances, no CPU assigned, no RAM being used, no floating IP addresses. It's got a completely clean slate, right? And now I'm going to get into this network creation. Now, now here two things happen. Here we create the virtual network where we assign the port groups to the tenant and also assign the VLANs and then we connect that particular virtual network into the physical network where we assign those VLANs to the ICID. That's how we bring SPB into the edge. So let me give you that uh, quickly. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it you know, SunNet here. You know, give it an IP address. Maybe just pick something here. So we, we already have a DSCB running here, so in that should take care of it. And here is where the you know, magic happens. So here I can selectively assign a VLAN or I can do it auto. So assuming if I, if I have no clue about the network, it's kind of a black hole for me, I can assign, I can call it auto here, where the, the SDN controller in conjunction with the OpenStack will go and pick the right ICID and the VLAN combination for you. So we already have a contained list of ICs and VLANs, which is not being assigned yet to, to any tenants. So yeah, I'm going to use the, the order here, create. Now here, two things happens. Here is that I'm going to first create the port groups for this particular tenant. I haven't really created any VLANs or ICs yet. I am just telling the network that you have to create the, the VLAN ID 4 on the VSP 7K. You have to then map that VLAN ID 4 to the ICID 4. That's all I'm, uh, I'm doing here. It's not done yet. It's not yet, not yet provisioned. The provisioning happens when you instantiate the VM. So as the VM comes up, all the magic happens where you find the VLANs getting created, the ICID getting created. So we'll just go back and you know, take a look you know, what's happening to our, our network here, right? So I'm going to do an top arrow. As you can see that, uh, we don't see any ICID 4 here, right? And there is no VLAN. I believe it's, it was 4, yeah. Right, so nothing has been created yet. So it's just telling the network, hey, be prepared, you know, it's going to come, right? So now my third step. So here I'm going to instantiate the the aura template so here we have you know six vms which need to be started in a sequence so we understand which vm needs to come in first which needs to go in last there's a complete order and everything is is what we call a linked template mode So it already knows, you know, which network to pick is you know, SunNet. It already knows what's the sequence of how each and every aura instance in you know, come up. Each one of them are, you know, separate VMs, all interlinked. So I'm going to do a launch here, and here I can watch how these VMs are coming up. 
one by one. As you can see that the, the first VM is our in system manager, which is used to actually provision the users. And then you can see you know, all the other guys you know, coming up like one by one. And now this is where the magic happens. So here what happens is that as these VMs are getting created on the, on the hypervisor, if I go back to my, my switch, I should be able to see, well, it's still getting created. So, so it's, it's still, still on the way. So let's see like what's happening to this interface, right? So we, uh, we created SunNet. As you can see that it already had assigned VLAN 4. You see that VLAN 4 here has been assigned to that in that network called SunNet. Now we'll go and check you know, what's happening you know, on the ICID level. So as you can see that you know, VLAN ID 4 has been assigned to the ICID. So, so we, we kind of stretched the, uh, the ICID and created that all the way into the edge switch. So now you have an entire traffic flowing. So you have an, a, a full SPB enabled network for this particular tenant. So for this, you know, we used you know, three components. So one is our SDN controller. Uh, we use the, the OpenStack plugin, which is again an you know, open source. And we just use you know, REST APIs to talk to the, uh, to the SDN controller. And we also tell the, the hypervisor we can even inform the hypervisor which particular you know, ESX server to go and pick or which particular uh, KVM you know, switch to pick. So we, can, uh, we can inform that. Looking at the load on the, on the hypervisor, we can say which particular you know, vCPU is to be assigned. And that's what happened when we clicked on the launch instance. It, it, it went and told the hypervisor that go and pick that ESX server and instantiate, you know, assign you know, these many v, uh, vCPUs. And then it actually went and told our SDN controller, go and create the IC. So as the, as the instance was coming up, the, the network was getting provision on both the sites.